This is Christina Rees. Good evening, Northeast Kansas. Thanks for joining us here on KSNT News. It was a great start to the day with some lingering showers, but you can see things have really turned around since then. Only a couple of clouds to be seen over the Little Apple right now. And a similar setup is the case towards downtown Topeka, but as that sunshine emerged, Temperatures responded. We're back into the 80s. It's 83 degrees currently downtown. A nice warm up after starting off this morning at a mild 66 degrees. But the last of the spotty showers have cleared out of northeast Kansas, and much of the cloud cover is gone as well, aside from some of our extreme southeastern areas. However, some additional showers and storms have started to fire up off to our north and northwest. You can see that really over central Nebraska at first, pushing its way off to the southeast. This will mainly impact central and western Kansas. We are on the lower end of getting clipped by this, and the other problem is we have some dry air in place. So future track shows you it is not a great chance of rain. If anything, some of our extreme western areas and those close to the Kansas-Nebraska border could potentially see an isolated shower or storm late this evening into the overnight hours. Otherwise, most spots stay dry throughout the course of the night tonight. A mix of sun and clouds during the day at times tomorrow with the slight chance of maybe a spotty shower popping up during the afternoon. Again, not another great chance of rain, but that rain chance becomes slightly more promising late Friday evening into the overnight hours where a few more showers and storms are expected to roll through parts of northeast Kansas. But right now we are dry and turning warmer, but not by much. Low to mid 80s are where we're sitting at. It's 85 in Holton, 81 for Burlington, but up to 82 in Manhattan as well as Marysville. It's a comfortable warmth out there, though. That's all because of our dew point temperatures, primarily running in the 50s, and that is some dry air in place for this time of year. So not only does it make it feel comfortably warm out there, but this is going to really hinder any rain chances for tonight. This does not provide a lot of moisture for any of those showers and storms to work with as they try to get closer. That's why it's a low chance of rain overnight tonight. Otherwise, we stay mainly dry and comfortable heading into tomorrow morning. Most spots wake up in the 60s, but some select areas could get as low as the upper 50s before we get back into the low to mid 80s for highs later on in the day tomorrow. For tonight, though, again, most spots stay dry with just a few lingering clouds, calling for a low of 62 degrees in the capital city. A look at your KSNT storm track summer day forecast shows that isolated rain chance for Friday with more consistent sunshine during the day, but still some cloud cover overhead turns into slightly better chances for some showers and storms sprinkled in throughout the weekend, even for the start of the work week on Monday. But it will be a struggle to even get into the 80s this weekend before we dry things out with more sunshine for the middle half of next week. And with that in mind, temperatures get closer to 90 degrees once again.